Hello, Abnormal Adventures. Again, I say the wrong thing. Abnormal Investigations is what I mean. I've been working on both pages. I uh, got another one for you guys. This one comes out of New Zealand, and I think you all will enjoy it. This takes place in New Zealand at my friend's house, where I was over for a sleepover. We don't really keep in touch anymore, as we're going our separate ways and go through different high schools. Let's just say the supernatural just loves me, so when weird stuff happens, I'm just used to it, but always got a good story. I was young, not too young to imagine, but my friend, who can back this up, experienced that. So my friend and I were both around 11 or 12 at this time. This was taking place. We were both really good friends and loved to hang out with each other. In the end, both of us agreed to go out to her house for a sleepover. Her house was a one-story house where the lounge, dining table, and kitchen are basically all in one room, while the rooms were another section of the house. So I grabbed my stuff after school on a Friday, I assume, and we went over to her house for the sleepover. This was probably in the late spring of November, or early summer of December, as I live in the southern hemisphere, so don't get confused. So before the sun set, my friend and I went for a lovely walk to the beach that wasn't far near our school. As we were going through the brush walkway, I got the feeling that something was off and that the feeling of being watched. I definitely told my friend, obviously, she is just, it is just my imagination or am I just acting up, stuff like that. The sun was setting and her family and I had dinner as we were back at her house. I remember it was a little awkward at first, but then we warmed up and we were all having a good time. It was around the time where the sky was all sorts of colors, red, orange, and pink, pale blue and yellow, when I started to get this weird offset feeling. Brushing the feeling off, I had a great time with my friend, running around, talking, and going for that nice walk before the sunset. And that's where I come to the point of the sunset part. Where I get, off the, where I get that offset feeling, we started to get blankets to build a fort out of the lounge where we'd sleep for the night. The sun completely set now, and it was around 9 o'clock. The rest of my friends' family was now in bed, as they have a young daughter that sleeps with her parents. We both made the fort quite pleased with it, even though our feet stuck out of the end, but we were still satisfied. I don't remember much of what happened next for the past five hours, but I think her parents had to tell us to shut up a couple of times as we were noisy like all kids. I was a night owl, so I was quite hyped, and that kept my friend up and hyped as well. Then things went south. It was then we were just standing and talking about the fort we built when something caught my eye. A large, big, muscular figure stood dominantly in the window. My friend doesn't have any blinds, and so we could see outside, but not so well since the street lamp was a bit far from her house, as she lived in the cul-de-sac. The only thing that helped us to see was the other houses and road was full of moon but a bit above the houses was illuminating light shining vaguely through the window. Both of us, with curious young minds, went closer to the creature. Looking right up at it, I will describe the creature the best of my abilities. It was around seven foot tall, nearly reaching the top of the window frame, just inches below it. Its body was very muscular. It had a snout of a wolf, pointed up ears, and the body of a very muscular buff man, but had fur covering it. You could see the bristles of the fur as the moon shone onto it. The eyes were something I could never forget as they glowed red, like the color the ones you'd see in alphas have, the teen wolf. But the light from the moon reflected off the glass, going into its eyes, making them shine white. It looked like it was snarling or just showing its teeth, or maybe a sinister smile, which shone a really white sparkle and were pointed like dog's teeth, and I would describe them pretty much like a husky. The moon shone brightly and beautifully, but it didn't do so great as we couldn't see the creature perfectly. I personally think it might have been a werewolf, but later on I just don't know anymore. Both of us didn't dare turn on the lights at first, but we just observed it. I then remember running to the kitchen to look at the time. I could see that it was turned on the light, which wasn't so bright, but shone a warm orange. I specifically remember the time being around 22 minutes after 1 in the morning. My friend came running next to me. We weren't scared, but actually intrigued, almost excited that this was happening. Both of us ran back, me being the leader of my friend. Following close behind, we tried 
turning on the lounge light, but it just made looking out into the neighborhood worse, so we turned it off. The light made it impossible to see the thing as the glass just reflected the light. My friend turned it off, and I got a bit closer to it, trying to understand what this thing is. This is the part which scares me the most, just thinking about it now. I remember the kitchen warm colored light shine dimly onto the creature, giving it enough light to see me clearly. I watched, as well as my friend, to see it turn its head to me, look at me straight in the eye, with its red eyes, but mainly shone a white from the moonlight in the kitchen light. It almost looked as if the creature was grinning at me, mischievously, or smiling. My friend freaked out, and I felt scared, and that wasn't like me. I simply don't get scared until something bad is happening or something evil is getting at me. So to put it in an easy way, I'm a bad, bad person when I get mad. So when I felt scared, I knew I shouldn't mess with whatever this thing is. I went with my friend away from the window, and the closer to the couch or to the TV, we both agreed that it was really late, so we should just go to sleep. Well, that's when we climbed into our fort. Our feet obviously stuck out as it sort of only covered the top half of our bodies. Later that night, I woke up to see this thing. I will describe this, also to the best of my abilities. As I can't really explain so well of what I saw, I was facing my friend as her back was facing me. I woke up to see this creature looking forward, forward from the kitchen area, more preferably the other part of the house. It looked like a Remus Lupin in his werewolf form, but smaller and closer to the ground. Its face looked deformed. Its skin was overlapping other skin coming into the middle or something, and it seemed like it was debating on what head of a creature it should turn into. Then it snapped its head to me instantly and froze like a child getting caught. My head felt back onto the pillow. Well, that's what I think. As I just somehow blacked out midway falling, I honestly don't understand how, but I did pass out. Then in the morning, my friend and I both talked about this under our breaths, trying to keep quiet. Once the light from the sun poured into the lounge, we get, we got a better look at the window. There was no complete evidence of something being even seven foot tall, stopping the light of the moon coming into the window. The only thing in front of that window was a three foot hedge cut into a square shape. I never talked about that night or did my friend as we couldn't explain what on earth that was and we didn't want to sound insane. But the most scary thing was is when we got up her parents looked kind of upset at us and not the kind of upset where they were mad but just the kind of upset that we had done something we shouldn't. And the first thing they said was if y'all are going to get up during the middle of the night and go outside please shut the door and make sure it's locked when you come back in. They said they woke up in the morning and the door was opened and unlocked. Whatever it was, unlocked the door and had came in to get a closer look at us. Thank God it didn't hurt us. Wow, guys, that is a crazy story. Uh, it did go in my granny's house one time. They saw it in there, and whenever it walked at the end of the bed, it ran its fingernails across the girls' bottoms of their feet. So they will come into your house. So make sure your locks are good. Uh, make sure that you know, you're secured in your home, because if they see you for some reason, they become intrigued and they try to get to you. So make sure that you're locked in. Until next time, guys, keep your head on a swivel. I hope you all enjoyed this one. We'll see you on the next one. Don't be something's dinner.